Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Time is but a Window, and today we're going to be doing some Overwatch. As you can see here, the suspect's got 5 kills, 4 assists, and 3 deaths, 113 damage around. Kind of just hopping around with a deagle, making his way over here towards B-Halls. Already, I'm kind of suspicious that he might have a B-Hop script. Either way, going to be pushing through the halls. Does hear some footsteps here in the middle, and actually knows exactly where this guy is. Going to flick around and shoot Iceberg. Making his way over here towards stairs, you can see one guy top right mid, and I didn't even see him peek out before he got that kill. As you can see, it looks like he is using an aim lock, a wall hack, and a b-hop script. Not the most blatant of blatant cheaters I've ever seen, but definitely still blatant enough that this is going to be an easy case. Suspect here making his way over here towards the B site. One guy inside up close here. He is going to just shoot him right through the wall. You can see that aim lock just locking right onto Dalmatian's head through that wall. Meanwhile, his teammate's going to take down Frog. And honestly, guys, I believe we have plenty right here to go and report him. Comes down to the first case of the day. I'm going to have to go with major disruption aim assistance. That is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for vision assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. And other external assistance is also evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for grieving, gonna go with insufficient evidence here. Let's move on to the next case. Once again, we find ourselves on D Mirage, the most popular map in Overwatch, and the suspect is AFK in spawn. And I'll update you guys if he decides to do something. Now, things I have noticed from this game already is one of the players is already muted because of significant reports. Another player is skipping around like he's using some form of anti-aim, and another player looks like he's aim locking. So I think this is an incredibly low trust factor game, and I think that most of this server probably should get banned, which means that the suspect is most likely going to be cheating in this game as well. Alright, the game is live, and the suspect is still just sitting here in spawn, not doing much of anything. Alright, on to round two. As you can see, Pyramid over there skipping around a little bit, using some form of anti-aim, but the suspect is still AFK in spawn. Maybe he was reported for griefing because he was AFK the entire time. Alright guys, looks like the suspect is actually moving around, making his way over here towards the A site. Kind of flicks over to the right to look at his teammate, and pushing his way up. As you can see, everything is choppy, that's because the interpolate... The suspect's gonna peek around the corner here, there is one guy over here in connector. He's able to take him down, and of course, Goose here in CT spawn. The peek out. Takes a shot, not quite able to get on target. Alright, I'm gonna fix that interpolate. Yes, it is technically used to help detect if someone is cheating, but I don't think we're gonna need it. Either way, the suspect gonna be pushing over here into sight. You can see Sam in there on the right-hand side, one guy on the left-hand side here behind plant box, one guy over by ticket booth. Guard's gonna shoot the guy ticket booth, and the suspect here gonna flick over towards the stairs, able to take down Salmon and sprays down Rattle as well. Goose is over here in jungle, and so far, the suspect actually hasn't looked overly suspicious. Well, hops right here. Quite a few of them in a row. Is that a B-hop script that I'm spotting? Well, it's looking like it probably is. Gonna be hopping his way over here towards A main. And let's see if he's able to peek out there. Know that Molly is gonna block him off. The nade's gonna come in, get him down to 57 HP. But already, just from that alone, this account can get banned for a B-hop script. Take out the guy underneath balcony, peeking over here towards connector, is gonna spot out Salmon, does get the kill onto Salmon, and now has to worry about Goose over there at the B site. Will he decide to chase him down, or is he just gonna hold patiently? Suspect making his way over here towards the site, full on B hopping, but gonna get sprayed down by the final counter terrorist. Yeah, and going with that B hop script to make his way over here towards the A site using as much speed as possible, gonna be peeking out, and one guy in CT spawn gets the headshot onto Heron. Battle inside as well. The suspect's gonna be coming around and does spot him out. Hits the no scope at distance. And that's gonna mean there's one guy up here on catwalk. Of course, he knows he's there. Gonna be holding the angle. Wants him to come peek back out, but it looks like he's gonna fall back towards market. Big B hops his way over here towards market. His teammates going aggressive here, trying to get that last kill. Will the suspect be able to steal it away? And the answer is no. Puffin's gonna pick up that last kill. And the suspect's gonna TK his teammate. Suspect making his way over here towards the A site. Gonna spot out the cross here. Does some damage to Heron. Can't quite finish him off. Pull out the Deagle. Not able to take down Woodpecker either, but his teammate is. And now he's gonna get shot in the side. Suspect pushing his way over here towards CT spawn. Three guys in CT spawn. He is just spamming at them through the smoke. Peek out. Tries to take the shot. Obviously, he is using a wall hack. He's just lining things up way too perfectly. Gonna B hop his way around the corner here. And he gets taken down. Maybe he's not using a wall hack. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Regardless, does it really matter since this account is going to get banned for the B-Hop script? 
As you guys could see on that last round, all of the counter-terrorists have left. Time for the Overwatch resolution. Let's go through this as for Major Disruption Aim Assistance. Honestly, guys, he didn't have the best aim in the world. I think he had some kind of smooth aim bot, but I'm going to actually go with insufficient evidence here. I'm going to say the same thing for Major Disruption Vision Assistance because it wasn't overly blatant, at least not really. So I'm going to have to go with insufficient evidence here. But as for other control assistance, that is blatant as hell. You can see that B-Hop script at the beginning of every round. And because of that, I think he probably was using the other two. But the way this is supposed to be reported, I'm just going to go with evident beyond reasonable doubt for other control assistance. And as for minor disruption griefing, yes, he did TK his teammate in the back. But he only did it once, and usually I let people do something like that twice before I report it. So I'm going to go with insufficient evidence, though to be completely honest, it shouldn't really matter. This account should still get banned because of the major disruption of external assistance. Let's move on to the next case. Next up, we find ourselves on DDoS 2 instead of Mirage. So I'm going to say that there is a good chance this game will hopefully be legitimate. Alright, maybe not. The suspects got dualies, 24 kills, and a 66% headshot percentage. And this is only the 16th round. He's not bunny hopping around or anything like that right off the bat. But I imagine he's going to lock onto everyone over here at long. Right, his teammate taking the fight here, actually able to take down one of them. Suspect going in for the flank, locks onto two guys here, one more guy behind the single box right there, and it looks like the suspect's gonna fall back here. Eclipse is able to take down Frog, last guy over there outside of Long, and will the suspect go and hunt him down? Take a shot at the wall here, I guess he's trying to bait him out. Maybe he's using a fake angle or something like that. As you can see, Blackbird tried to shoot him, but wasn't quite able to get in contact with him. Blackbird has to come and reclaim that bomb if he wants to win the round. 26 seconds remaining, and the suspect, once again, just peeking out slightly. Blackbird coming around, and Blackbird able to get that headshot. The suspect let him come out really far, actually, right there. The suspect going to be making his way over here towards Long. Gets the one dig onto Sheep. Gets another one dig onto Blackbird this time. And will Iceberg be able to take him down? Iceberg pushing aggressive here, is going to use that AK-47, but the suspect here is going to come in with two one digs and still got one guy outside of long doors. Suspect looking over here towards Catwalk, able to take down Stump. Alright guys, right now the aim lock and wall hack have been confirmed. What the hell was that? That looks so weird. Either way, the suspect making his way over here towards Sight. Now we can't confirm the B-Hop script, but that doesn't mean we can't confirm other external assistance. As you can see, he is clearly using some sort of fake angle. Going to be making his way over here towards the B site. Sheep on the left-hand side. Suspect's going to peek out. He misses the shot. Going for the re-peek over here towards Halls. Able to take down Blackbird. One guy behind the double box. One guy over by window. And the suspect here. Will he find an angle onto him? He does. Taking down Sheep. Now he's got to worry about one guy coming from over there in Halls. And one guy behind double box. He does take out the guy double box. Stump holding from Halls. Suspect has been tagged, one more shot from that scout, and he will be able to kill the suspect. But it looks like he is mollied off, and he does not want to push through that. Suspect going to be peeking out, and able to take down Stump. Alright, the suspect here in middle is going to be peeking over here towards Catwalk, able to take down Frog. One more guy holding from up top there, he's going to throw a nade at him. He's going to do quite a bit of damage to Stump. He's going to follow that up with a Molotov, and now going to be repositioning back over here towards CT Spawn. Throws a flashbang over the doors here, trying to help his teammate. Not quite able to do so though. And now the suspect here, trying to find an angle to take down these terrorists. Stump up there on the top of Catwalk, looking down with that scout. The suspect trying to use his fake angle here to get an advantage. Stump was trying to take some shots from middle, but not able to connect because the suspect is using that fake angle. Suspect going to go in there and take down Iceberg from behind as he makes his way over towards window. Now the suspect has one more terrorist to worry about in a 2v1 situation, and the bomb is down on Catwalk. Blackbird's going to have to fall back and try to go for that bomb. He is able to pick it up with that smoke, and now making his way over here towards Sight. Clips is going to pick up that final kill. Guys, let's go and report this. I feel like we have plenty of evidence. Time for the Overwatch resolution. Let's go through this. As for major disruption aim assistance, that is evident beyond reasonable doubt. As for vision assistance, that is also evident beyond reasonable doubt. And as for other external assistance, going to go with evident beyond reasonable doubt because he was using that fake angle. Reefing, going to go with insufficient evidence here. And that's today's three cases. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, have a great day.